Hi EAC, we're going to work on part two in our Young Authors Journal Toolkit. So you'll need your journal and a pencil to work on this lesson today. Okay, so you got your journal and your pencil. I want you to open up to your brainstorm box here and go over your picture again, kind of remembering what it was that you were telling the story of. So if you remember from mine, I've got my family there. We went on a trip to the beach last summer. The beach was called Seal Rock. Uh, we went in July for one week. It was our family vacation. Um, we saw crabs and shells. Felicia dug out a crab that scared her. We jumped in the waves a little bit. Um, but there was lots of fog when we first got there, and that was a little bit disappointing because we had been looking forward to being able to sit in the living room on the couch and just look out over the beautiful waves and the beach and all we could see was white. That's all we could see was just the clouds, just the fog, until finally after about four days the fog lifted and we could finally see the ocean and the sand from inside the house. So then we were pretty happy when that happened. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here then and I'm going to fill in some of these boxes. We'll fill on, um, some of them in next week as well. Um, so for today's lesson we're just going to get the characters, the setting, some sensory emotion, action words in here, and we'll work on a lead sentence. I've called this topic sentence too in, in the past with some of my students. So we're going to work on getting these filled in and then next week we'll start putting the story of it together, okay, into an order that makes sense. So, um, the title of mine, I think it's going to be um, something about going to the beach. So, let's see. The foggy beach. Oh, since it's a title, I need to use a capital letter there. Trip. Okay, the foggy beach trip. That is kind of what it was. Characters. Mr. and Mrs. Racinos. Isaac, my son. Ariana. And Felicia. Okay, my three kids. That's who was there with me. The setting was at Seal Rock at the beach. I could say Beach House. Those are all the different locations it was at. Okay, so if you need to pause the video, you can do that. I want you to write down the names of the people who are with you, or if you're making up a story, the characters that are with you, if they're animals or people, and the names of those characters. And then write down as many words as you can to describe where you guys are. Where are the characters at? Okay, so like I've named the beach, I've called it just a beach. Uh, we were also in a beach house. I could describe the sand, waves, any words that tell about the location and what it looked like there. Okay, so you can add that in. When you're ready, start the video back up again. Okay, you've got the first two boxes filled in. Then I want you to think about the beginning and the middle and the end of your story. Kind of divide it into three different times and let's get some emotion and action words in here. So if I look back at my picture, I definitely need to talk about how it was foggy at the beginning and probably how we felt about that. We were disappointed. We had been looking forward to going to the beach. When we first got there, it was foggy. I might even actually put that in the middle now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe I want to put at the beginning how we're anticipating going. So we were pretty excited about our trip. 
And then when we got there, it was super foggy. Maybe that's more in the middle. And then at the end, the fog did finally lift towards the end of the week. And then we were pretty excited again because finally it was like the trip we had imagined. Okay, so I'm going to put that in. Beginning, we were excited for the trip. Um, packing, that's an action. Getting ready to go. Planning, thinking about things we were going to do. And that could go in the beginning. In the middle, it's foggy. So we were disappointed. Um, we had to stay inside, but we did play a lot of games, so I'm going to put that. Okay, at the end, then it was sunny. So then we were relieved. We were excited again. We got to go out and jump in the waves and explore all the things that we had planned to do. Okay, so you can pause the video, take a look at your picture, decide what is your beginning, middle, and end, and then write down some action words and some emotion words to describe the beginning, the middle, and the end. And then when you're done, start up the video again and we'll work on a lead sentence. Okay, so you should have in your page now, you should have the characters filled in, the setting, and the beginning, middle, and end emotions and some action words, okay? So now we're going to work on a topic sentence or a lead sentence that's going to get the reader excited to read about our story. So I want to give a little bit of information about it that will get the reader thinking that they want to read the rest of my story. So I'm going to turn back to this page where we looked at the five W's. On the page next to it, gives us some sentence starters for introducing our topic for narrative stories like we're writing right now. So you can read through this list and it might give you an idea for the first few words of your first sentence. So you would add more information after these first words to complete your sentence. So we've got one day, I could say one day my family went to the beach. But it was more than one day, so that one doesn't really make sense for me. One morning, one evening. My story takes place much longer than just a morning or an evening, so I don't think I'll use those. Long ago. If I was telling a story about when I was five years old, I would use long ago. But I'm not. It was just last summer. One time. I could use one time. One time my family went to the beach at Seal Rock. That is the only time we've been there, so I could use that. It all started, oh, I kind of like that one. That one definitely gives me an image in my mind that there's going to be some interesting things that are going to follow that. It all started when mom had the idea to go to the beach and enjoy the sunshine. However, and then I'd add on from there, right? That could be a good one. It all began. That kind of gives me that same picture in my mind. It all began when mom had a great idea that we were going to have a sunny vacation at the beach. But then, <laughs> Mother Nature had other plans for us. Last summer, I could use that one. Last summer, my family went to the beach. Winter, spring, fall, I was telling a story from one of those seasons. In the beginning, that kind of gives that same picture. In the beginning of my beach trip, it was very foggy, right? Can you tell which story starter I felt like made most sense to me? 
or got me most excited as a writer. Yeah, definitely. It all started or it all began. I think I'm going to say it all started. It all started when I had the idea to take my family on a sunny beach trip. I might even use an exclamation point in that one. Okay, I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. When you load this into Seesaw, can you read to me with the microphone app? or with the video app, either way. Can you read to me the list of characters? Oh, I need an A on there. The list of characters, read to me the words you put into setting, the words you use for beginning, middle, and end, and then read to me the sentence that you chose for your lead sentence, okay? I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with this week. See you later.